Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, you are tuned into the number one pop culture podcast in Nigeria pop, pop, pop. called Zero Conditions Podcast, brought to you by Pop Central TV and the Zero Conditions crew. My name is Excel Joab, aka The Real, aka if you're not a tax paying body, don't DM me, please. <laughs> Please pay your taxes. Tinubu needs money. What if you are the one that DMs country. before before they realize they should not reply? They no, no, stay away. If I DM you and you know you don't pay taxes, don't reply. Don't reply me. <laughs> Leave me on red. <laughs> I also have with me in the building Motolani Alake and the incredible Melody Hassan. We have special guests in the building. Excel called me incredible. You're not incredible. Uh, the average. What? My bad. The wondering. average melody has sang. I was wondering why the niceness. Yes, and Nigerian men don't do something. They say problem. We do something. Problem. Like, I be your know. real self, please. Well, we have a special guest in the building. Ooh. Fresh off touring the world. Ooh. Fresh off a new album. Rule. <laughs> and the last time I saw a video of him on the on the internet. He had a tongue as an eye patch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but he's about to tell us. Ladies and gentlemen, Ruga in the building. Oh, clap, 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 clap. Rude the world. Rude the world. What's happening? How you doing, Baba? I'm doing good, bro. How you ah. been? How you been? Who came up with the album name? Me. When? I slept and I woke up. He said Rude to the world. Rude the world. Rude the, the world. Yeah. <laughs> when he makes it. Now, it before be, before we go any further, uh, we lost someone in this industry. Um, it's so sad. We got the news. When? Was it Tuesday or, or Monday? Um, was Tuesday. it Monday or Tuesday. I think Tuesday. Um, rest in peace, Mobad. Sending out our love and condolences to his family and loved ones. Um, he, was a, he, was a, he was a sweet young man. And it's so sad to see someone so young pass away at that age. Rest well, in peace, my bad. Amazing music from him, yeah. always. You know, it's just a sad one, but very sad. Yeah, his memory will live on. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, now we are back to the music. Ruga, first of all, I always one of my favorite things to ask people who come off a tour is, "What's touring like? What's that like? What's the energy like? We know it's wild for you, be, be, but because, Ruga, we don't have to ask what the energy is. But what's it behind like? the scenes? Because we if, see the energy. If the things you are doing on stage, bro. Are on stage, what are you doing off stage, bro? Well, so yeah, let's start. What was what's that like for you? First of all, thank God. <laughs> Ruga, please, we can't hear you. You gotta talk like they give out of time. Ruga, we can't hear you. Please. First of all, first of all, we, we thank are, God. We thank God. Hey, we thank God. We have to thank God for everything that's happened, Fair you know. Mm. Thank God that I'm alive. You get me? That I'm, I'm here. You know, after all the turbulence and everything. We turbulence. <laughs> turbulence. <laughs> we turbulence. You, you are the turbulence. We oh, turbulence. Fair enough. You, Ru, are the turbulence. Anyway. It's not it's not actually easy, you know. Mm-hmm. Most of the times you just you get on stage with a bad mood. You mm-hmm. understand? You have to just turn up for the people that are there. Yeah. Because you're not doing only you're not only doing it for yourself, you understand? Some people paid money to c- come be there with yep. you. You understand? So when you get there, you just have to like, you know, make them happy, you know. What was the what was the best atmosphere you experienced on like what city? What city? <sighs> I swear, there are lots of atmospheres that I'm remembering now. Okay. Like, I, I keep going. There's Wonder. a lot. Oh, okay. There's a lot. I think, um, I think I really enjoyed uh, uh, DC. DC was amazing. DC, Washington DC was amazing. Because like when I got there, that day, Beyonce was having her own concert. Oh. Hmm. And it, my show was sold out too. Wow. I think people were sending mails like, oh, some people were saying, oh, why would you do a show the same day Beyonce is doing hers in DC. Yeah. And I don't know how I feel because me, I don't normally like bother about things. I'm I'm a very laid back person. I like to mm. just sleep. No matter what, even if I get there and I meet 50 people, I'm fine. I'll just do whatever I have to do <laughs> and get out. My money is going to be complete at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? So, I didn't think about it. I didn't know that whether it's going to be sold out or not. But when I got to the to the venue people were outside lined up and people were filled up inside and I was like ah, it's not today that Beyonce is doing her own thing. the same thing happened in Seattle 
because Drake was doing his own show at the stadium and people came out for me too. So I think that atmosphere, those two cities really made me really happy. You understand? Because like, I was like, I have my fans locked in. Did it make you realize like where Afrobeat is right now? Or was it just, or was it about Ruga? Like your stapa or just like the or, movement? Or did it make you feel feel Afrobeat or just feel like... Oh, it's about me. <laughs> Fair enough. It's me. They came for. Yeah. yeah. So that's the thing. Ruga <laughs> 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 said, I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't know about you, baby. came for me, man. He came for me. <laughs> yeah, because like if they, if it's just that they lost love Afrobeat, mm-hmm. yeah. They can say decide to come for another show another time another artist Afrobeat artist that's gonna come for another time and go for Drake. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? But they say, oh, it's Ruga, Ruga, Ruga. Let me come for Ruga. Do you understand? So it's different, definitely different. That was to you, man. The, like, f- the, the, the videos were the, the videos were crazy. The videos were crazy. Yeah, yeah. Fun yeah fun. To watch. And it also reminds me of like the first time the three of us got to sit down with you. Yeah, yeah. you were just dropping yeah. the second wave. Yeah, actually, we that did was, we did we did the listening. Time. Yeah, we did actually. the listening back actually. in Boom Play. Yes, yeah, yeah. Indeed. and um, a lot has changed since, oh since that time. Yeah, actually. What is the most profound thing that has happened to you since that time? I mean, first that it became it became troublesome. <sighs> you got into a beef with with Benson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it became because when he came that it was chill, super fun. So when I started seeing I'm still fun go off. I'm still Online, fun. I was still. like, okay. That's fun too, yeah. How is that I can't fun? Lie. I can't lie, it's fun. I mean, for the fans. It's but, fun. But when you're on social media, like doing, when you're having like your back and forth, say like the situation with Boju or anybody else, what is li- what is going on with you privately, like in your house? Are you are you kicking? Are you laughing? Or you're angry? Like, what is the energy? So, I, I, I need people to understand what goes on behind the scene when these people are beefing or seemingly are beefing or yeah. when, when you are typing. Beef, yeah, when you are typing all these things. I'd be laughing, you understand? Because me, I just talk once and leave it. But I make sure that all my points are intact in that one talk I talk. Yes, so I don't need to talk too much. I just say it and I leave it. So you just pick your points, pick your job, pick your soul, pick whatever you want to pick. I'm good. And yeah. I sleep off. I mean, back to this story. Right? Chaos and go and sleep. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I mean, that's the only way. Trust me, bro. Um, back to this story. Back to this story thing. How do you, how do you prepare to perform on back to back nights? Well, actually, I, I still owe it all to God because, like, um, it's not easy to perform back to back. Your voice and everything. And as for me, I, I have a very fragile voice. Hmm. If I perform once like this, my voice is gone. Maybe the next day, it's so hard to like, you know, put that voice back together. So there was one that I can remember one time I, I, I called my dad. I said, oh, my voice is gone. I don't know how I'm going to perform like tonight. He said, go, go and drink eggs, raw eggs. Oh. And I did it and it worked. Mm. Then I started doing it often. And one of, that's one of the things that, you know, made my voice strong. You understand? Like, I'm not even scared. If my voice cracked this night, I just drink egg and sleep. And I wake up, my voice is back and I'm ready for the next show. You understand? And, you know... I made sure like I looked after my health also, you know, I had, I used to take ginger shots and all of that just to make sure I'm good to get up because it's not easy actually, you know, to do that back to back. What what did you do before you, to prepare for the tour? Did you do like cardio, aerobics? Did you treat your voice? Did you run? Did you practice with your band? Like what what were the things you did before you got on tour? Yeah, definitely. I practiced with my band. Every day? Not every day. Okay. Every week? Let's say every week. Okay. Let's say every week. But like me, I, okay, once in the, before I went to America for the America tour, I used to, what did I used to do? Like I used to go to, you know, Eco Atlantic. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll pick a particular perimeter and run like four times, get back into my car, come back. You understand? Oh. So it helps me, it helped my energy. You understand? I made sure I ate well, slept well. You understand? And you know, Prayer too, fasting and prayer, oh. just to prepare mm. yourself, you know, Are spiritually. You Christian, Christian? I'm a Christian, Christian. So, so Ruga, uh, Ruga, no, please. I believe you. Hey, please don't. Ruga, please. I actually, no, no, wait, no. wait, wait, hold on. I, I don't know that. Ruga, please. Melody, you guys. Don't mutually exclusive. You guys. Melody, first Ruga, of all, you can't please. police someone's relationship. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. You can't okay, police. Okay, except with your blonde hair, I hear you. It's you fine. I don't understand what my blonde hair got to do with this. I got you. I hear you. So wait. So before. God wants me to be fly. Ruga, so before you go on stage. Yeah. Rocking them booty, you be fasting and praying. I pray. So, 
But you're, but you're rocking. But you, uh, you know the... Hey, hey. Tell me. Tell me, please. Yeah. I'm not talking to you. Say you, you know the... Let me ask you, my... Oh, hey. my... We know your mans. Uh. <laughs> Let's Let's see see I don't like this voice. Can I ask the question? So go ahead. you, you, <laughs> go ahead, journalist. Go ahead, go ahead, journalist. Ruga, so yeah. wait, how are you fasting and praying, going on stage, mm. grabbing them booties, wearing them song on your face? Do you think Jesus would be happy? What would Jesus do? Well, it's just you know. <laughs> Let's just say that Ruga's Ruga is just, on a journey with you know, God. Yeah, like, it's, it's just it's just work. You understand what I'm saying? You know, like yeah, we're allowed to party. You just like I'm partying, but like I'm not a bad person. Do you understand? The fact that I'm dancing with girls on stage doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I still believe in God, and I, you know, you get I, me. So it's you true. see, pray and fast. I see, pray and fast. What's your favorite Bible verse? Huh? Your favorite Bible verse? Oh, um, those that put their trust in God shall be like Mount Zion that can never be shaken. You don't feel them like that. <laughs> bishop! Come on that's, now. That's your assistant you bishop. Yeah, right That's bishop. But actually, assistant I believe bishop. Ruga for real, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. yeah. Um, one, on his project, some on some projects, so like he has songs like Bow. Yeah. And on this new album, he has Holy Ground, yeah. which I found funny too, yeah. by the way, that the whole album are shower music and you end it Bro, <laughs> with Holy Ground. It's like... <laughs> and then I saw a clip of a pod you were on yeah. and you were talking about how if you do acts for God, if you commit acts for God, you know, there's a real blessing that comes with it. And yeah. you talk about how you used to be in sanitation in church. You yeah. You clean the church. You know? yeah. yeah. It's interesting to know that Motolani Alake is also in the sanitation that's, that's, group. That's the department. In his church, after he causes problem online, he, he goes, goes to, to church, church. On, on Sunday morning. <laughs> wait, it, wait, I think it was last week, Saturday or so. <clears throat> yeah. Like, so we were all at Tolani's house. Yeah. And, you know, I was sleeping and I woke up like 9 a.m. Yeah. So Excel was sleeping. So I woke up at nine. I, I can't find Tolani. I can't find Excel. Yeah. So I went and I saw Excel sleeping in the other room. Then I'm like, oh, where's Tolani? Where's Tolani? I went back to sleep. And Tolani comes in. I'm like, Tolani, where have you been? So I went to clean church. I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but, yeah but so it's, it's you you have this where this relationship you go. Where does it come from? Does it come from where you like in the choir? Yeah. Where does it, where does it come from? Yeah, I've always been a church boy right from mm. the time my family dedicated to the church. I was in the choir. Yeah, that's about it, man. I'm a church wow. boy. Whether what? you like it or not. Are you still a church boy? I'm still a church boy. I still go to church once in a while. Yeah. What's the multitasking king? Honestly, like, everybody's relationship with God is personal. It's I agree. different. I agree 100. It's personal. Again, like, I, I 100%, I'm never going to, sh- to say the Bible was wrong or anything. But I feel like if the Bible was written now, the Bible would be entirely different. Like yeah. we've said it with the laws, times. like yeah. cultures and lifestyles of the people that wrote the Bible influenced the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, everybody's if if like God, God is not as God is very very God judges. People. God shows you that you sin, mm-hmm. but I don't think God punishes people for some of the things that we fear that God punishes people for. I feel like there's a line with God. There is a line, and that's what Excel was saying about like the pastor this is. Yeah. There's a line. There are some things that you, you have to do. There are some things that you can't do. Yeah. Um. So I don't think it's like that. I think I, I I'm not particularly sure about the fornication angles. To be honest. Of course you can be. No no no. I'm not saying this to make an excuse. For <laughs> you can't. But be. like, if it was like that. About fornication, I think. I don't think. I don't, I don't think Hello. God wants us to be having sex. There's no. I don't, but Hello, me, I don't, I don't listen, fornicate. Listen, listen. <laughs> Bro, look, I don't if, fornicate. You just see me dance with girls on stage. Have you ever seen me fornicate? So do you fornicate? Do you have any evidence of me? Do you? <laughs> but he said, he said I don't fornicate. Okay, I don't fornicate. You Continue, don't fornicate. My brother. Yes, wow. I just so, dance with girls on stage. That's all. Like I don't, I don't know. I, I don't. I would. I wouldn't like to mm. agree with that. Do you know why? Why? I feel like there are some things that you do that you see the repercussions instantly. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand? You see them instantly. Yeah. You see the changes, mm-hmm. and I feel like. Yeah, like, bro, I I pray before I do everything. I pray before I have sex. Tolani. First of all, hold on, hold on, Tlani, hold on. Please. What's that? Before you go far, <laughs> you do. A- Tlani, <laughs> please. <laughs> so sex. before you have the sex, what you I sanitize you. In the words of Ruka, I sanitize what, 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 you. Like, like for real, for real, you do yeah. that. Tlani, that's a lie. We just walk it, walk like. Like God, may I have like, with your with, with your woman or yeah, a woman. random person? Yeah, like, uh, I'm not joking. Yeah, it's shopper inside the room. Oh, yeah. So okay, so I know I know a married person that, that had issues with like um, like when he just married, and I think they were both like virgins or whatnot. 
So the sex was it took a while for the, both of Did them to figure it out. <laughs> and then they started having sex, but like the woman orgasm having an orgasm was an issue and he it bothered him for so long. And he actually prayed about it. I still have an orgasm. Oh my man. The, the, <laughs> the neighbors the neighbors confirm. Nigeria Nigerian women, you the, heard. They take it to God. So maybe we should maybe 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 we should take the orgasm. You are married. Maybe, maybe maybe like, to the so you be like God of orgasm. <laughs> If Let you it, are married, take ladies, it to the Lord. Excel said we should take our orgasm if gap. If you are married, ah. the Lord. if you are married, but but to add to what you are saying yeah. about even Christianity, I feel like one one of the most important things in the Bible, if you're a Christian, yeah. is God giving the instruction of us not judging people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. we do not have context to judge in people's lives. Yeah. yeah. To understand so, to understand why they do certain <laughs> things. You yeah. could see someone that maybe is a drug addict and judge them up, but God knows the backstory. God knows the trauma they've gone through. God knows that this is a coping mechanism. Yeah, actually. You know, and maybe you are even supposed to help them, but you can't help them because you are You don't not have the context. The or maybe, like, God balances, like, good deeds against bad deeds. Maybe that's what happens. Let's, like, not, I see, I, let's not just try to know try God. Try to understand it. Yeah, yeah. We, we... Let's, just try, yeah. let's, let's not try Fair to enough. understand God. Just leave. It's not going to work. You're yeah. going to run mad. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just, I think it's, knowing God is even a... Just be good. ending process. I agree. You know, just... Just live your life. And it'll be... Meanwhile, oh, okay. Ruga, when was the last time you went to church? Huh? When was the last time you went to church? Um, honestly, I think um, um, July. Wow. Not long. Yeah. What church? I, I attend CNS, White Garment. Are you for you real? Grew up, well, you, you grew up yeah. in White Garment? Yeah. So do you wear like the entire thing? Yeah. Your, do you cover your hair? Girls no. cover their hair. The boys no, I mean, cover like, their hair. Your hair is yeah. colored. No, no, I don't cover my hair. Wow, and they let you in? Why not? I like to be a celebrity. No, no, no. Why would they there, let me there in? There are certain churches that won't let you in with certain hairstyles. True, true, If true. you're a regular person, they yeah, won't. True, true, true. They won't let you in. You know, like, oh, go and cover your head or go go back with the hairstyle or something. I, I, are you? Are your parents like pastors and all of that? Yeah. Oh. Wow. But how do they how do they balance <laughs> this reality with... <laughs> do they see your videos? Of course, your parents are pastors. Yeah, they it see, they see. It makes a lot of sense. They see yeah, your videos. They see, they see. Do they call you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they call me, so I just try to calm them down. Tell me, oh, what do, what's the conversation like? I was about to ask that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, now tell us. Look out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just small now. She was like, ah. When we talk about the stage, and she... My do be like, Konjo Gosori. Next year now. Oh, Tolani. <laughs> Oh, go, I feel like Tolani can relate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, can you go finish? I beg. What do you like? Come joke a story and you. Ah, can you hold down? Ah, what they call all these things? I will just be like, mommy, can she go, she go see anything at all? Man, don't worry. I can't show her stage and go see. <laughs> we see what I like at all. But you know your Yoruba people here, <laughs> so his mom will call him and say. <laughs> You should not allow women to sit on his head. There's a thing that they so say. They'll sit on top of him. But yeah, but I, I think I've heard that thing. Like it's a Yoruba thing where they say woman should not supposed to sit on a man's head, Abby. Mm-hmm. Abby? Something like that, right? Like yeah. a woman is supposed to use her, you know, um yeah. properties. Her yeah, sexual organs to put on a man's head. Ah. No, I'm no way. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. No, it's, it's a, a thing, thing. That, that, you know, for your elect or something. Yeah, true. true like, there's a lot of pastors that don't believe like a man should be given a woman's woman head. 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 Yeah. So, Ruka, what do you think? Do you think a man should be given a woman's head? Yes, actually. You think you a man should give yes. it Yes. Yeah. Why won't you why won't you endorse it? I'm just asking. But you like asking a, about I, like a clean like woman though. A Let clean woman. Know. It has to be very clean, like glass. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, okay. Ruka, how do you deal with I uh, let me start that before I even ask that question. Are you in a are you in a relationship? Yeah, I'm in a relationship. You're in a re- how long how long have you been in this relationship? That's none of anybody's business. <laughs> is it is the relationship very recent? Eh? Is it it's, very it's recent? It's not your business. You it's not your business. Because I'm trying to figure out, okay. The so, conversations. Yes, I'm going to figure out next up because if it was if let's say the relationship has been for a while uh-huh. and you're on tour and you're wilding out with these girls on stage, because my nigga, you are wilding out with these girls on stage. How do you how do you balance it out with Madame in the background? Do you mean madam or madams? Yeah, you know, there are lots of them. Oh ho. How many people wait? <laughs> you in a relationship with all of us. I, <laughs> What's that of that? This guy is a wise man. 
<laughs> you understands me perfectly. So between yourself and fake Ruga in Kenya, uh-huh. how, many, how many girls? How many girls? So you're not in a relationship with one person. I mean, I'm in a relationship. Don't worry. This is not worry about you. Like, <laughs> but, but Ruga, but seriously, mm-hmm. like jokes aside, uh-huh. let's be let's be serious. Yeah. Do you sometimes worry mm. about like? your touring experience mm. like how you be on stage with these women if you use social media a lot a lot of people have spoken about how you know lawsuits how that can go less yeah. how that can go the women can come out tomorrow to sue you yeah. or claim something or say you were inappropriate with them yeah. especially because you're not doing these things in Nigeria do you worry about such? well first of all I'm not the first to do it do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not the first to do it lots of artists do it and they will not come maybe because it's Ruga they will not come for me but on the stage, before I bring any girl on stage, my team checks their their ID, make sure they're uh, above age. 21. In yeah. fact, 21. Oh. You don't use if you are 18 or 19, you're not climbing that stage. Oh. Above 21. Ooh. Do you understand what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I ask them openly on stage, are you ready? And they say yes. And they're, they're eager. Too. And they're eager to. So maybe maybe you should ask them, do you consent to this? As opposed to are you ready? Are you ready? It's consent, are you ready? bro. It's consent. Because I stand and they come to me. I don't go to them. In a minute, in a minute. <laughs> I stand and they come to me. Yeah, I agree. But I feel like people just want to talk. Maybe because it's me, it's fine. Do you feel like people don't like you? You know, some people don't like me. Why do you think so? I don't know why. I don't know. I don't I agree. Feel like I don't think that. so. I don't I also agree. Feel like what do you say? I don't agree. I think you're you don't really, agree. You're really, I think, you're I think, really I think I people, are people, are people, I think people have a toxic relationship with me. I'll put it like that. Okay. Do you understand? Because some people think I'm rude or arrogant or anything. I think some people think that. I don't know. There's there's one misunderstanding that's going on. But me, I'll always be me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know that they love the music when the music comes out. Definitely. Yeah. But like. I feel like they don't understand my personality yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. With my captions and all of that, they just see me as a cocky person and all of that. It's just, it's just me. I'm not cocky. When you I meet me in person, so. I'm simple. Yeah, no. I don't think so. You. Very simple. You're really a cool yeah. guy. I also feel like you have a the branding of a villain. Actually. You have the branding of a villain, <laughs> so not everybody is, will be aligned. There are people that love the villains. But, there are people that love the bad boys. But actually, in the movie, in the movie, when I'm watching a movie, I love the villains. Uh, yeah, yeah. People that love the villains. You know, there are people that are root for the villains. Yeah. And there are people that are like, they're my back where they're my body thing. But does it bother you? Bad line. Do you bother sometimes, me. when you see certain things being said about you, so I'm going to use myself as, as an example. Hmm. There are certain things that you see as a person or as a you know, as a regular mm-hmm. person that you might feel really hurt. Like, oh my, why is this person saying this? Yeah. Why? Like, you take it personally. Like, yeah. you react to it emotionally. Do you sometimes, when you see those kind of reactions on social media, someone saying things about you, do you sometimes get emotional about it? I'm human. Why yeah. not? Sometimes I look at it and I'll be like, this is not actually me. What are, what are you guys saying? Mm-hmm. But after I sleep and eat... <laughs> I'm good. And <laughs> check your numbers. You I swear. How many saying? times do you eat in a day? Sometimes yeah. once a day. Most times once a day. Oh, intentionally? Sometimes. Most times it's intentional because Why? it's good to like just put the body together. Because yeah. if you eat, sometimes if you eat too much, you just get fat all of a sudden. Yeah. It's good to like maintain your body, check out your body, eat fruits. You know, most you like. The most parts of your day should be about fruits. Then maybe just one part should be real food. Are you? But are you getting as much? Are you eating as like are you getting as, as much calories as you should? From if the I want meal? to eat, I can eat. Okay. Just simple. It's just if, my. But there are sometimes I go haywire that I eat, 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 eat. But you have to balance it. Sometimes you just have to, like maybe you can do it for a week. Just eat like once a day. Then. Yeah. Do whatever okay. you want afterwards. <laughs> I saw a post that you posted recently that before you lost your eye. Eh? You posted yeah. something in the yeah. that before. Did you really lose your eye? Yeah, I lost my eye. When? You lost your eye? Yes. What year was this? Because if I'm wearing an eye patch, that means I've lost an eye. <laughs> because well, why would I be wearing an eye patch if I didn't lose an eye? Did you? Is this not just a branding thing, Ruga? I lost an eye. <laughs> <laughs> So officially, if you've ever wondered why he wears an eye patch, he, he lost, lost an, an eye. eye. So is your eye back now? Lost an eye. <laughs> <laughs> so you really wear your eye patch these days? No, I wear it on stage. Wear the, wear the long but long like long if I'm chilling, like I'm chilling with you guys now, it's like yeah. a normal conversation. Yeah. So yeah. I'm good. Like I'm wearing okay. my shades. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
But I, bro, why did I think it was actually loss loss? Me too. I'm, you got me fucked up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's talk about like how things have changed since 2021 when we last saw Yeah. Year. Yeah, when we last saw I you. feel like you just went nuclear from that. Yep. Yeah. Like, from that project. From that project. Second you wave. Nuclear. It was Dio. It was that project was when I think a lot of people actually. Oh, wow. They took it in and said, Yeah. Wow. So this is really this guy. Did you realize that? I realized it and it was kind of overwhelming at first. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, I started to sink into it because I I went to tour in, in Australia just from the second wave project. Wow. Australia? Australia. Just from the second wave, wave project. And it was just crazy because I didn't expect it to be like that. You understand? I'm still growing still. Yeah. But like, it's still, it's still, it's still like going higher. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because like where I was last year is not where I'm, where I am this year. I toured, I toured America without an album. I toured Europe without an album. I toured Canada without an album. What is gonna happen it's with this problem. album? Yeah. Do you understand? It's a different vibe. Next year is gonna be bigger. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like, I just thank God basically, and I thank my fans. I thank my loyal fans, the ones that are rooting for me. And you know, people like you also, you know, that that understand me. Do you understand? So like, I just thank God because it's only up from here yeah. still. I mean, you said you, you were overwhelmed. At, at yeah. Start. How, what, 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 what was the point where you realized that you were overwhelmed? What happened? Oh, because I just posted a snippet of Dior that time and I saw the comments under it. And it was like, Oh my God, we have never heard this type of thing in a while. Oh my God. And my looking good in the eye. Mm. It was I, different. Even the listening. You know, and they were saying like, it was a breath of fresh air and everything. Yeah. I was just, I knew that, okay, I'm gathering some people here together. You understand? And <clears throat> that's it, man. Basically. Um, You also, but at, this, at, that, at that listening party, it was actually not Dior that got them. It was Dior now. Dior, there are two it was songs. Dior. Snapchat. It was Snapchat. It was the no. It was Dior and Snapchat. You like Snapchat? It was, Snapchat. It was okay. Dior and Snapchat. I, 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 I remember, remember the kept, conversation that like you were saying, yeah. and he was I, saying I that Snapchat, Snapchat would be like a Snapchat thing. Yeah, but we yeah. the, the you, know, you, you guys need really you, you guys need to see me perform Snapchat. Oh, yeah. bonkers. Snapchat didn't top the charts, but my fans know Snap. Like it's when I your cult when audience. I say, and I keep quiet. You've been on my mind lately. It's just crazy. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Even camera man did. Is it? Is it What's your, There's another song. Um, aside from um, Champion, there's another song. Um, Dior. Is it Wee Wee? Wee Wee. No. no. Girlfriend. No, Girlfriend was on second wave initially. That's Deluxe. Okay, which one? Uh, on the second wave? Yeah. It's Dior, Snapchat, Snapchat Dior, Dior Champion, and Useless. Useless. Okay, so yeah. Useless. 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 Rinder, rinder, rinder. That's when I bring the girls on stage, when I'm performing Useless. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Why? Because, because random me Useless. It's, it's, it's yeah. the idea. It's, it's just... It makes a lot of sense. Straight up. How, yeah. how has your songwriting, the way you write, changed this is? Wow. Uh, I think we... With the the more I experience things, the more I get like crazier writing. As it should that's, be. That's, that's the way I am. I write based on I don't enter the studio looking for hits or anything. Whatever I'm saying in the studio is me. Mm. Something that has happened to me. Real life. Real life. So it's just me. So mm. like I feel like the more I experience things, the more I go go through things, the more uh, good things happen, the more bad things happen, the more crazy things happen to me. I tend to just yeah, assimilate it unconsciously. And whenever I hear a beat, it just pours out. Mm. And the story just comes out. Nice. What, what makes you... What, like, what goes through your mind when you're trying to select a beat? Is it finding something that suits a song you've written? Or the beat speaks and then you go right? I hardly select a beat. I, I like to work from scratch. You have a producer that you work with a lot. Cook beats. Yeah, cook beats. A cook beats. I prefer to work from scratch, but some of the songs I've done, I picked the beat. I just listened to the beat and picked if the beat is extraordinary. But most of the times when I listen to beats, it's not really extraordinary like that. It's not really, you know, mm. entering my head like mm. that. Mm. 
most of the works I've done um, was from the scratch. So I prefer to work from the scratch. Start from playing the keys from the keyboard. You understand? You and play the keys. keyboard. Not me. Okay. I just tell the producer, just play anything and let's just play different progressions and let's just play around first. Mm. Even though we're not going to do anything that day. Yes, let's just start from the scratch and build from there. And, build from there. and that's how I... So like, it's a story. The beat is making its own story. I am bringing my own story to that beat. From the strings to the bounce, to the kick and everything. We're just matching. That's why most of the time when you hear me on a song, it looks like the beats and me... We are married together. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah. Because yeah. we grew together. We are married yeah. together. So like, one is not overshadowing another one. I'm matching the energy the beat is giving me. I the agree. beat is ma- matching the energy I'm giving it. So it's like that. Nice. Um, Hold on. Hold on. Um, before we continue, we're about to go on a break. Um, the conversation will continue. So if you miss any of this while the break is on, catch the full thing on Monday on YouTube and all streaming platforms. All right. See ya. So, how did you meet Cook anyway? Oh, Cooks. <laughs> how did you meet Cook bits? The prince introduced him to me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't like Cooks when I first saw him because I felt like he was too older than me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, no man, in a young boy is supposed to come, you know. Come because cook. because I just started in the industry at that yeah. time, like, 2019. So I was too young. I didn't understand anything. I was just like, ah. I was expecting to say boy with dreads, you know. Yeah. Just brought from wood man. Bald head like me. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, you, did you give him that tag? You gave him that tag or did he, did he have it all along? He had, he had it already. It's not oh, he had okay. it. Oh, okay, he had okay. it. He had it already. So like, but the cook that thing was me. Yeah. Oh, no. That's my oh, okay. voice. Oh. oh. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. it sounds like it was. Cook that thing. Yeah, cook cook that thing. You guys have sense. great, great me. That's chemistry. Some, that's some um, future and metro shit. I'm telling you, the guys they have like, future and metro. Yeah. They have so great like, chemistry, yeah. and yeah. I like how, like the first, the first time I I, I, I heard Cook, um, your music was I was in Boom Play then. Sony Music guys brought it to the office to play for us, and it was. Um, all of them are sanitized and when they come, they may not be stopped. They sell their pockets. Melody, you need to hear the pockets. I was like, I call Melody, I'm like, who is this guy? This guy, they enter pockets. They are sanitized. And then, another one where I really like, and I feel like, because they know each other now so well, so they, I think that this guy creates those spaces. He for him. For him, where you just go. So, Cook, Cook, Cook produces and packs the cooks. That's what I know. Yeah. But he leaves a lot of space. Yeah, and this guy verses. just goes crazy. This was just... Coco yeah. kill me. Coco kill me. Coco Actually, Bruh. like you're just going. Wait, 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 Waiting uh, to happen for oh you. Oh my god. But 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 speaking about um you going on social media or saying things, do you have a social media handler like for Twitter, for Instagram, or do you handle your social media by yourself? Because you know, in recent times we've been seeing different things happen on social media, artists coming on social media to do the most, to say things they're not supposed to say, getting themselves into trouble with different kind of conversations and just having weird conversations on social media and people and it's like I feel like a lot of artists need social media handlers because there's some conversations that you should not be having ordinarily if you yeah. had like the OT not to do that so for you as a person do you have a social media handler or do you interface with your social media by yourself it depends on what I want to do hmm. if I want to talk about personal things I'll come but most of the times I have a handler okay Mm. <sighs> what are the things that just for context right because yeah. I was going to ask I didn't want to interrupt you and this question is for you Melody what are the things that an artist that is not what are the things that an artist shouldn't talk about it's like the different it's not like they shouldn't talk about you know there are certain ways people, well, <laughs> do you want me to go into it like, go into it enter it. it but you know Ruga is here we don't like to talk about that artist when artists are here so don't, like, uh, don't, don't, don't enter it it's fine don't I, enter I don't know give me, can, you can give an example without mentioning name so like the one that is happening on social media now for the past two days, the one that the artist is talking about, uh, um, some artist that posted some girls, uh, 
video on social media of her dancing to your song and the girl is, and he said without her consent like of her you know, nah that's just dancing. foolish that no, one that, is not this a... no can, that's just foolishness that, no, that no. one is possessed uh, no, that's, that's not, family problems that's not nah. so village people move on so from yeah, that one so moving like, on generally artists we have is, sometimes you see some, some kind of conversation you're like ah, oh, maybe you shouldn't be saying that or maybe yeah, you shouldn't yeah. have said that maybe yeah, your sure. team should have said that you have a temper Ruga everyone has a temper no but are you hot headed? Mm. Hot headed when I need to be. Oh, when was the last time you ne- you felt you needed to be hot headed? Do you oh. spaz? Yes, I do. Why not? Yes. Sometimes you need to get things done. Yeah. You- I feel yeah. like it would be very disappointing if he if he was cool. Yeah. Even Why? with that villain branding, yeah. it would mean that the villain thing is very is very yeah. unoriginal. Every, every, but, but I don't. <sighs> okay, so, I feel it actually. So I want to say I don't feel the villain, but I do. Not I, do. The... I do. I feel the villain. No, but wait, Tolani. In response to in response to in response to Ruga saying that, you know, you we asking, do you spaz? Do you do you have a temper or something? Or do you get? You have a temper is a question. And yeah. Ruga saying that sometimes you need to get things done. Yeah. I yeah. feel that generally, we think that for us to get things done or for mm. things to happen, we need to spaz or we need to do it from a place of temper. No, I think it you can depends. get things done. It actually speaking depends. Cool. It actually depends on the kind of people you're working with or the kind of person you, some people you need to ring it in their ear. Yeah. You need to just like a child sometimes. You understand? You need to ring in the ear that I'm not taking this. Do you understand? You need to stamp put your, your foot down. put your foot on the ground and say no. Do you understand? It's important. Because some people will still go because they see that you're calm and they will come and tell you, you, you try this thing now. Just Try and I don't say you understand because they feel like they can talk to you anytime they want to talk to you. You understand? So the, most people can take advantage of that. But sometimes you just have to make sure that okay, this is what I want. This is what I want. This is how I want to do it. I'm not saying any other thing again. Let's go. I, so I think what you're trying to say is that you're an assertive person. Let's say so. I think that's what you're trying to say. I'm family shit. Tolani, please rest in Jesus' name. <laughs> Let's think... talk. Okay, okay. No, go, go, go on. No, please go. On. I want us to talk you. about. Um, Oh, we're back. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back. If you missed anything that we talked about, please catch the full thing on Monday on all streaming platforms and on YouTube. I also look out for the reruns on Pop Central TV. Now, I was going to ask about Rude World, the album. When, yeah. when did the process start? When did you officially start working on this album? Last year, basically. So, mm-hmm. parts of this album were recorded on tour? Yeah. Actually. Interesting. What? Yeah, yeah if it's song? last year. Do you remember yes. one song on, that was on tour? Me? On tour last year. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, last year on tour. I was on like, like a yeah, little tour last year, so like yeah. Def- I remember. Um, what song? Like, where did you record them? Was it like you like was were you like Lil Wayne where you had like you read my mind on, on, on the tour bus? bus. No, <laughs> no. I hate recording actually. Oh, mm. it's not a thing I like doing. Or recording yourself. You no, no, no I'm like, recording I, I, at all. I, I, don't, I don't really like being in the studio. Oh. oh. It's it's weird, but like I don't really like it. So when you step into the studio, what's your energy? It's like, oh my god, I have to do this again. No. It's not like that, but because it's not like I'm looking at I'm not I don't, oh my god, uh, I'm so tired. I know it's work. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I don't really like if I could just sleep and just sing and it goes out like that. I swear to God, I'll I think do it. I get you because you have to do retakes. Yeah. You do retakes. Oh, and retakes. I'm a god of retakes. Yeah. Are you serious? You do retakes. <laughs> Cooks is tired of me. <laughs> yeah, I get. Ask Cooks. Cooks literally bangs the table and say, "It's done. It's okay. Later, we will come back." Yeah. I'm a god. Of, see, I take I because I'm a perfectionist. So, like, I could take 100 times just to make sure that my voice is good. So, I think. I prefer when it's more spontaneous, like when it just happens randomly. Yeah, when it happens randomly than when I when we have to plan to do do studio work. You understand? I just I prefer when I just find myself in the studio, then I can work better. Hmm. But if it is planned, like uh, maybe you have set some some time for me. Oh, we have to be there. We have to be there around this time, and the studio session has to end around this particular time. I don't know if I'm going to give my best. I'll just mm. be like... That routine feels... You routine. understand what I'm saying? But like, I take my time off studio. Like, I could take like five months off the studio. I will not near a studio. But by the, by the time I go into the studio, two weeks, get ready for like 60 songs. That's the way I am. 
So you go experience life. Yes, and come back. Then you do the music. Yes, 100%. What is he like? So because as an artist, as a person, like yeah. you say, when you come on social media to say things, you just say what you have to say and you keep it moving. You're not the most chatty or the most um, expressive person on social media as yeah. an artist. Yeah. Most of the time, we see maybe videos, we see pictures of you, but it's rarely ever you giving opinions or takes, right? Yeah. So from that place, there might be some misconception about you, a yeah. lot of them. Yeah. People do not necessarily have like a glimpse of what your life is with. Yeah. Or your relationship is with like Rema, yeah. with like um, the Prince. Yeah. What is that dynamic like? Oh, because I keep whatever relationship I have with anybody private. Hmm. You hardly see me chilling with an artist. Or like, you understand? But because like I, I like I like real stuff. If you don't know whether I was with Drake last week. I just like to be alone. Let's just talk. Let's just be normal people. Without I don't have to like put down, you know, oh, this is my guy, this is my guy, or this is my friend, or this is my I'm brother just like, from another mother. You understand? I like to just be real. Do you understand? Let's keep the conversation going. Most of us, we talk very well. Most of the artists that you would even think I don't even yeah, talk, they you are, I talk, we talk. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like whatever anybody's whatever anyone is trying to misunderstand. Go ahead. I'm living my life the way I want it, and I'm happy with the way I'm living my life. Are we going one. to get? Are we going to get more collaboration? Because that's one thing I really look forward to. Yeah, actually, I was. I, was, I, was, I, I feel like his time Brugger went on on like a mad me. feature run. Yeah, I, yeah, I, was gonna, I was even going to ask like off that question that I asked you because now you dropped your body of work. Yeah, people, it's. I think it's within like people trying to say that ah, you dropped an album. You know, you didn't feature like artists that are in Nigeria. You know, or like young gains that you know, yeah. or like people that are in your, your, do you get my friend, your yeah. space, maybe they'll be like, oh my God, you open an album, we we'll see a feature with Rema, or we we'll mm. see a feature with this person, but that didn't happen. Was that intentional? No, it just happened. It's just music. Wherever it directs you, that's where you go. That's where it directed me. Hmm. Have you, would, let's, this is, this is a hypothetical question, right? Yeah. If you were to make, and this is not, I'm not restricting this to Nigerian artists. If you were to make, a joint project with an artist that you like, yeah. like really like. Who would you who would you like to do that with? In Nigeria, anywhere. Anywhere in the world, in Nigeria. Oh, anywhere. projects. Projects. Yeah. I see it. Why? I see it. Our voice complements like each other. Is that what you look out for? Yeah, that. And then yeah. the energy. And and the energy. Yeah. On, the synergy is hundred percent. Projects. Projects, projects is also a great writer. I'm working on that too. Where you grow oh, up? Where you grow up at? You said you grew up around Bega. Yeah, Ojo do. Ojo do. Ojo do Bega. Yeah. Um, you lived all your life. Then? No, I started living my life from first stack, then I moved to Ojo do. Oh, with yeah. your, uh, with your parents. Yes. How many siblings do you have? I have two sisters. Are you the first? I'm in the middle. You have an elder sister and a younger <laughs> sister. Solaris. Yeah. <laughs> you me out. You got him. <laughs> They call you and say, "Yo, you're wilding." Did they call you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yes. One. They also call you. My other sister's the because the only one I'm. Be careful the, of these girls. The only person I'm scared of. The only person I'm scared of in my whole family, in my whole life, is my other sister. Bro, that terrorist, man. Bro, proper. A day do what? Fuck off, you yeah, first. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but see me. Yo! Because my sister says see, the okay, same okay, to okay. me all the time. Let me she tell you I'm my, my elder sister lives in Minnesota, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I went to Minnesota with my team, you know. And there was one time my, my sister came to look um chair to look to look after me, make sure she cooked for me. So we were in the house. And I was sleeping, I was waking up. I say, when he wakes up, tell him to come and see me. Yeah? Ah, wahala. <laughs> wahala. Did it? Did it? it was, she was yeah, she was ask, asking my manager that. Did he do this and this? Oh no, he didn't. And that's when my man just came down. That's when I stood up. <laughs> and I went to the palace. I said, ah, what was happening? Because if you my manager did it. had said, Oh, I think he did it. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Shout out to the manager. <laughs> ah. <laughs> she wow. Said, she said, Tobaji. Take pay for me. <laughs> like, I just woke up. But when I when I heard that, no, he didn't. I just stood up. Went to the chest. palace. Ah, that's it. Good morning. Ah, we are family. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah, but like she's the only one I'm scared of. 
definitely. Not your mom, not your dad. Not my mom, not my dad. Why? Why? Huh? Why? Oh my 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 oh my elder sister. She's brutal. Forget that thing. Wow. There's I no feel filter. Bad. There's no filter. You know, if my mom wants to talk to me, she can still say, My son, mm-hmm. yeah, say, this is how it is. It's like that's going to go and my in. dad will be like, Oh, no matter what I do, my dad will be like very calm and sit down with me and talk to me like a, a oh. man, man to man. Are you no, for real? No matter what. But my elder sister. You go. You gonna make some you not go even swear for me on top of phone, Jeff. I think it's Yoruba. just it's the Yoruba. traditional thing. Yoruba. It's the thing of how like <laughs> no girls worry. who are the first child no. in African homes. Yeah, she's like they she's are like, raised, she's like, like my, my mom. They are raised like as mom. warriors. I, I feel like I mean, what's the age difference? Oh, like sixteen years. Ah, of course now. That's so, it. That's it. That's some. That's some age. Oh. That's some age difference. So, you, so you I, see understand. How it is. Ah, you I see understand. I understand. Yes. You go collect. No worry. Understand. No, the bitch used to give me that here. Yeah. No way, it's not normal. She go be like, Sorry. it's not normal. <laughs> top, top girl. I say she go, she go punish me. She go sleep go. Are you serious? Punish me, sleep go. They don't bomb me, man. Move. I would do. Yeah, I did. And now look oh, at you. Boy. All right. Oh, um, what, what was the first thing you bought her when you when you blew up? I think an iPhone. I still got. I think I got a, a laptop too. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. But what what's the what's your what, what's the government name that everybody calls you at home? Michael. Hmm? Michael. Yeah. Only Michael. That's fucking crazy. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I don't agree. I, I mean too. Like I, I do not. I Michael. I well, you, can, you can go to yeah. It's on, online. Ru. I did buy a Michael. I know. Is it that? I'm like. I refuse. You don't look like, I, a Michael, like a Michael. Michael. Michael is giving gospel artist vibes. <laughs> it's not. That's not where we are. <laughs> you know. But after you drop, after you drop, like your body of work, you wrote to the world. Yeah. Rude the word. Rude the yeah. word. I keep going to the word. Even word. me, I, when I, 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 <laughs> when I got it, I was... Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, that's not, that was not even what I wanted to say. I when I got Rudy. it initially, I was I was calling this rude to the world, actually. So like, it's, it's actually rude to the world. I say rude to the world, but yeah, rude the world, right? Yeah. What kind of reaction were you expecting from people? And what reaction did you get predominantly? From people? From the release, yeah. What were you expecting and what did you get? Actually, I got what I expected. Mm. Do you understand? And I think I even, I'm even get, getting more than, I'm expect, that, that I, than I expected. Because people are even picking songs I didn't even like. Bro. I didn't know that I it was going to... I agree. I, I didn't even know it was going to kick off. People are loving it. Do you understand? Every day I see videos, people just enjoying themselves, making themselves happy with the songs. Do you understand what I'm saying? There will definitely be bad comments. There's, 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 there's no way there's not going to be even the best albums I've dropped in the world. There's somebody that will come and say ah, something. It's a lie. It's not good. <laughs> it's a lie. It's not good. It's this. It's me. It's this. <laughs> it's this. It's that. That is me. It sounds like Twitter. <laughs> Do you understand? But like I understand about since the majority, yeah, they like it. Are saying, they are saying. They are saying. Oh, this is an amazing project. I'm good, man. Do you take cost? Do you look at any of the any of the people that are saying it's me? Do you look at any of the things they are saying and saying, okay, maybe I get what you're saying here? Oh, the only thing they can say is about is, is about sex. That's the that's the most thing they can say about it. Okay. What do you mean by it's about sex? Like, like the, that most of the songs are about, about sex. Yeah, yeah. That's the most thing they can say. They can't say lyrically. No. Of or course. they can't say melodiously. Or they would they, 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 they can't say beat um, beat wise. You can't say so. Bring bringing what? this back to they'll just say it's mid and move. Bringing this <laughs> that's all. Bringing this you can't sex, say the lyrical content is mid. It's bad. Yeah. Bringing yeah. this sex talk back to something you said earlier. Yeah, yeah. Which is that you sing about yeah. what's what happening to yeah. you. Yeah. So you are you are gaving so a, a lot. Of sex? You get a lot of sex, yeah. isn't it? Blaming. You are, are you getting a lot you of sex? Blaming. I am actually. You are yes. blaming. <laughs> I am. Shall I I am. <laughs> you having sex? Yes, I am. What happened? I'm sure. You want to test? Ah! I don't know. Like Ruga. you can try it. Oh so my it. God! Ew. <laughs> 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 but you serious, to your it's okay. It's okay. okay. Hey! hey. <laughs> Do you know what? Let me tell you. Look, let me tell you something. This is just between you and I. Yeah. One of the most annoying things about this podcast for yes. me as a person is being the only girl. No, not, it's not being the only girl. It's the fact that I get to do this podcast with my actual friend. Oh, amazing. So all these kind of things that they say, do you want me to cast you? Do you want me to tell them? Shut up. 
Back to you. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We'll talk later. Hey, hey, Ruga, don't. Victoria, Victoria Beckham. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Tolani, God. Tolani. Oh, God. Solo Royce. Me do shy to me do shy. But Ruga, don't. Banana, 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 Benz. Start the banana. Excel. <laughs> they depend on like Benz. No! <laughs> you guys! No. Pluto is active. You guys! <laughs> Pluto way is not showing when I came, on the map. No, the last no, time I saw, no. the last time I saw her, I like, to be honest, oh, oh, she's God. not even standing as straight as she used to stand with us. Oh, so in the, in the, Start or they bang you. In the, in the space, in the space of two years that me and this what lady has doing? met, they have bent her <laughs> and bent her like a Benz. <laughs> Melody, stop! Excel, you guys can we Melody, oh, yeah, Melody sorry. be wilding. Chief, Chief Aga, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Melody it's be wilding. It's a lie. Oh God, I don't like this. Pluto is active. Stop it. At, at least she's faithful. I will give her that. Oh, man, nigga. At least she's faithful. Oh, oh my God. God. She's Long faithful term. to one man. Long yeah, term. One man. Yeah, she's I need faithful. you to please. Long not term. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, she's faithful. She's Long faithful. Term, she's faithful. She's faithful. She's loyal. Look, it's not true. But why are you saying this and giving a side eye? No, she is. She's faithful. She's faithful. Wow. Ruka, no, she's faithful. Can we not? Don't listen to this boy. Let's focus. Long term. So back to the question. It's okay. Yeah, back sorry. to the question. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that was a law. <laughs> <laughs> that was a law. But what you, do you think about <laughs> this um, sexual thing that you have going on with your music and your brand? Yeah. Is it intentional? It's not intentional. Like... The time I, when I stopped getting sex, I'll start singing about the... Gospel. Uh, gospel. Maybe when I become a father. <laughs> if, you, if you were not, a, if you were not a musician and artist, That's what other question. career path do you think you would have taken? I don't think there's any other thing I would have done. I'll probably be working somewhere. Yeah, definitely be working in a. Uh, would you have? Would you have? Would you have attempted uni? What? Would you have attempted uni? Uni. Uni. Yes, I attempted. I attempted four times. <laughs> With, the, so, <laughs> with this guy, yeah. with this guy. guy, what's his name? Francis. You know, we are Francis. Both of you did not enter uni no, four it times. You know what? Even you. <laughs> that means Francis is the problem. Even actually, when <laughs> Francis is the problem. Even even when he entered, I must see cause if I go study French. What kind of Francis? What French. kind of study? French. Now French. Yeah. Oh, I go study French. <laughs> but you never see. Send no more money. Oh my god. <laughs> That, no, that one I even said, make we shall study something. Bro, make we study just... French. Bro, what would, you have, what would you have liked to study if you had, if you had gone to you? I wanted to get into computer engineering, actually. Hey. Yeah, actually. Oh, tech bro. I mean, that makes sense. You know, I've still made a you lot have of still money. been wilding out here. A lot of money because <laughs> yes, tech bros be wilding. And be wilding out here. Yeah, tech guys are making money. And yeah, these girls, they like tech guys. Oh, absolutely. So Ruga, with the girl um, them. these girls, they uh, like tech guys, Abby. Because they're making money. Yes, now tech, tech guys, and they are calm. You understand? Well, yes. tech boys are not calm. Who said they're not calm? Afrobeat boys, over. <laughs> Wait, but boys. hold on, hold on, hold on. Your boyfriend is <laughs> a tech guy. Can we not answer my please question, God, or we we'll stop this podcast? Oh God. <laughs> Ruga, please. Don't listen to Tonali and Excel. Wait, wait. Oh, God, I don't like that. No. I, would, I don't I would, know I would what... Say, I would say our boyfriend Tonali, is... Excel. I just said... He's technical. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, deal. Ah, why? Like, oh, my God. Right, let's move on. I know I've heard it. I've heard it. <laughs> Excel. I, yeah. I'm going to pay you guys back. I promise. Pluto is but active. That's your business. <laughs> <laughs> See, let me tell you, you will never win. That's I can't. The I never See, win. I have, I have. There's only one female in my team. Yeah. She collects every time without. <laughs> <laughs> she the collector. She can never win. Wait, who is this? Who is this? Is she here? No, she's not here. She's in London, actually. Oh. Is it oh. Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Oh, Shout out Daisy May. <laughs> RG. She, Daisy May too is a wild girl. So now she did, now she did record she's the most Yes, then, yes. Uh, no way. We go give you Daisy May. Just... <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy, you have casted. Hey. If you are watching this, Daisy May. I don't want to hear anything about Daisy. Nah. Nah. <laughs> you are coming only for Ruga. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, Ruga, say, Ruga say, don't tell me. We have your no, files. No, I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't Bat- see anything. Baturi Brewery. <laughs> You have your files. <laughs> no, I don't see anything. Look at the boy. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Daisy, Daisy's our G. Daisy's, Daisy's our G. She's our G. Shout out Daisy. Yeah, Daisy uh, anyway. Gonna, yeah, I was going to ask him something. Yeah. Do you, like in your journey, like music and everything, yeah. what terrifies you the most about the industry? Hmm. Oh, the only thing that scares me in my life 
is losing my relationship with God. Hmm. Yes. I don't want to ever lose my relationship with God because this industry can make you lose your relationship with God. Hmm. Anytime I wake up late, <clears throat> I'm always pissed because normally I wake up 6 a.m. to pray. Every day. But if maybe because of a show, I just sleep and I just wake up and I just sleep at 12 p.m. I get pissed, but I know that God well, God understands. So I just say a quick prayer and I go on with my day. That's it. Hmm. Keeping my relationship with God is it's not easy. Lots of people lose their life to not being able to hold God tight. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Because this industry will mess with your head. You enter depression and when you don't have anyone to talk to, you don't have God to talk to, hmm. then you're in trouble. Absolutely. But the question I, I, was really, I was really going to ask is, so you were not living outside the house at all? That was a, The first time you met him was the first time you moved out of the house. That was the first time I'm, I used to I, definitely I used to be in boarding school. To go and read. Okay, you understand? Okay. But like, I used to go outside and be with my guys and everything. But I was still living with my parents. I was just eighteen or nineteen or something. Yeah. So like, yeah, that was the first time I moved out of the house. Well, the name that the name Ruga though. Yeah. Um, how did you guys find it, and why? <sighs> Alright, that day, me and the prince were just looking at guns online. Just check your names of guns and all so that. So Luga. Just check. why were you looking at guns on? No, just just checking. Yeah, yeah. Are you into guns? Because you message except when they shoot God. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Some people are actually into collection of guns. Yeah, true. And you have a tattoo of a gun. Yeah, true. But like, yeah, we're just looking. With a silence. Wesson, Smith even. and Wessons, Ruga. Then all of a sudden, the priest started calling me Ruga. <laughs> oh. All of a sudden, I think he, he planned to do that actually. Mm. Maybe he had, you understand. So at first, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, ah, Ruga, I was just coming from church, you know. I'm a church <laughs> boy. I like, was Ruga. Ruga gun. Me. <laughs> ah, yeah. Fire gun. <laughs> but as time went on, I started understanding the name and owning it. Own it. Owning it. And yes. I think one of the best things about you and how you came out is. So they give us, you guys drop one shirt. You announce, yeah. then you guys drop one shirt. Yeah. One shirt shows that you are good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't, to me, well, it didn't show that you were phenomenal. It showed you were good. One now yeah. showed that you were phenomenal was the freestyles you started dropping on Instagram. Yeah, actually. I was like, waiting, they happen for here. And even the freestyles, the attitude, you know, I was like, okay. The personality. Okay. The personality. Mm. You know, was so. Was that something that you guys planned before? Before you. No, that's just me. You have to have your own self will. You still want, <laughs> unlikely, but do you still feel like freestyling on certain beats these days? Yeah, actually. What beat? What was the last beat you had that I made you want to freestyle? I think work. Work, 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 work. See me if you work, work. I can hear you on that. On I that can actually melody. hear you on it. I can hear you. But what's holding you back from doing that? Because now you're a ruga. Huh? No, no, no. Ah, let it is in my head. You know, it's easy. <laughs> um, uh, and it's not like, but like when I say I want to do it like this, you don't call me when I can't do something. I forgot it. Mm. But by the time I'm able to, maybe if I go like one week, you understand? Maybe I'm in one country doing nothing. Maybe with uh, my girl, just early, maybe I'll be able to do it. You can use social media good. handler, I can come. Yeah. You can come. Say social media handler to take the picture with you and your girl. Why do you want to? You want to have a taste or something? No, you. Uh, God, you I just want to. to you just want to. Like, no, be I said me. to take a picture. Hashtag Pluto is active. <laughs> hey God, that okay, is sorry. That is <laughs> Excel. What will you be doing? Will you be able to watch plate or what? Just be doing things. If you want to check, you can get back. What those kind of small small things? Don't worry, we don't do content. We only do real content. Okay, cool. You should have told me before. It's fine. It's cool. So you want? <laughs> no, it's fine. Look, guys, it's fine. Like that, that, do you want uh, to join the real content? <laughs> <laughs> if you and I read my line, say, when you my talk, say, when she enter the room, you collect the girl for oh, the best. Oh, yeah, oh, more. Make her no go see myself. You know, no, no. Whenever, you, whenever you're ready, just... You have I'll my, text you. Yeah, win, text. win. <laughs> win, win. <laughs> for win. For win. But, but, wait, but, but making reference to, like, Rema, um, Rega saying, um, Rema saying, hanging out with someone and taking their phone, mm. what are those things that you have to do as a celebrity that sometimes you're like, oh my God, because it feels like you guys are celebrities. You guys have so much to worry about. Yeah. Like you have to worry about your music. You have to worry about like your touring. You have to worry about the money, your streams. Everything is all right. Then also like you have to start being self-conscious about the people around you, what people are saying. 
Yes, Isn't that a law? As much as we're human beings, I don't think that people understand that we're human beings. We are mm. human beings. People don't understand that we're human beings. So maybe I decide to blow my nose now. I want to blow my nose. I have kata in my nose. I want to blow it. Someone videos, post it on them. Um, yeah, it's that blog. Is that, is that not a normal thing? You then you see some people on there say, um, why is this? Why is it like? Why is it so green? <laughs> Do you understand? Or maybe I'm talking and I miss, maybe maybe I can be talking and maybe saliva mistakenly drops. It's a normal, normal thing. Yes. But if it's me that does it, <laughs> and somebody just captures that, it's a problem. But you also, I feel yeah. like your your. Uh, you're on the internet a lot uh, and I might be wrong lot? because and I'll tell you why I think so you sometimes when you post your pictures or your videos in the slide captions. no he this guy a lot they bring things. out some There's funny content. content I'm like where you see this yeah. thing this thing where you see him yeah. I defined that no way. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm like fairly actually I'm, 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 I'm not, not fairly I'm always online so you see everything I see everything you see the funny videos, you see the memes, you see Everything, the drags. Because I like funny things. Hmm. And if, if you like, I, I like anything that's funny, I'm down. All my guys are funny. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody around me funny. If you're a girl, if you want me to like you, you have to be very funny. I think you're funny, actually. I think you're a very funny guy. Being, being on... Funny. personality. Oh, God, leave me. <laughs> I don't know if you're funny. Leave being, me. Being online, <laughs> being online a lot. That guy, you see your girl. <laughs> What are we saying? What are we saying? What are you saying, fam? What are we saying, fam? What are you saying, fam? What are we saying, fam? Bring the food, you know? Bring the food. <laughs> I'm going to swing you, bro. What are you telling me? Hey. What are you on? What are you on? Oh, oh my God. Ruga. It's, it's done, isn't it? It's, it's done. done. Well, you are top boy. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just knew Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top boy. What other shows have you seen recently? Of movies, um, I watched uh, which one? Like, who was I watching? I love cartoons, though. I'm sorry, Fair. I don't. I enjoy cartoons. When you say cartoons, do you mean like animation? Uh, adult, as adult, adult cartoons, adult cartoons, yeah, okay. adult cartoons that are very funny. You understand? Like South Park and all those, yeah, all those ones, yeah, Family Guy and Family all, those, guy. all those kind of things. Motolani is missing out. He doesn't watch stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> He's missing out. What did I watch recently? I think Top Boy is the only one that like I sat down to watch recently. Um, I love epic um, series like Vikings, yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah. You understand? Um, I was trying to watch The Witcher too. Trying it's to, not bad. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, not bad. it's not all that good, but it's not bad. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm. <laughs> Mm. See, with which is a slow burn, especially yeah. when you just yeah. start. It's a slow burn, so it, I got it, to it one drags. Point. I got to one point. No, I was enjoying it. Then I got to one point. I said no. This is not for me. I beg. I move. There's another series that is a slow drag. That anytime I come on social media and I see people drag it, I'm always so confused. There's this series. Uh, what's that one that they were doing? Uh, I can't remember the title now. Let me, let me just tell you the storyline. The guy started selling coke. He's a regular family man. He started selling cocaine. Oh, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Ozarks. No, Breaking, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad is the slow burn of us slow burn. Bro, have you seen Breaking Bad? No, actually. You, you should. should. But people are always, anyone who tries to see Breaking Bad from like season one, episode one and two, they're always so mad. Like, oh my yeah, God, it's so boring. The first two it. seasons of Breaking Bad will test it. your patience. I promise I you. It. I it. But it's an amazing... To ending. Have you watched, uh, you, did, did anyone of you watch The Boys? No. Yes, I did. It's too diabolical. It's too dark me. for me, man. <laughs> yeah, I love dark things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I swear. I am not sure. I love dark things. That, like. that show is just it's Homelander. It my and it's very bro. messy, you know? Bro. <laughs> it for, it's too dark. No. It's too diabolical. 100%. There's a, there's, a, there's a animation um on Amazon. Is it Invincible? I watched that too. I finished that. I finished that. Great, great God, show. Dang. They Great did. show. What time Season do you? Just what time do you have to watch? This I thing? watched Invisible on the plane throughout. Mad. I think I watched it in Australia last year. Mad. Yeah. Oh, the Great show. Watch That's my hobby. Sitting down watching TV. Would you ever consider, like especially the fact that you you have this villain type brand? Would you ever consider someone the where like the casting in a movie to be like a bad guy or something? I could do. And you can't because I watched I watched your video. I watched like you've shown it a couple of videos <laughs> that you could. Pull it off. I go do the way. <laughs> I have to, two people in mind will probably do it first. That became Adesiba. 
I think I think you actually I think you can actually pull it off. I think so. I, really, I, really I think so. Let's so. talk I think about this relationship, bro. Was it real? Are you ready? No, actually, it wasn't real. Because I don't want to talk about. Okay, it. Okay, say what you don't want to talk about. Yeah. It. yeah. Okay. Because I even think that, you know, it, they've it's, moved it's on spent. from it. But it was entertaining. I'll give you that. That period was entertaining. Um, Nigerians love good entertainment. Guys, we're about to go on another break. Remember, the full episode drops Monday on YouTube and other streaming platforms. Catch it when it drops. Conversation still continues. Looking forward to this. What's one of your best friends in the industry? Like artists. Oh, number one, Dremel. Dremel? It's weird. It's what do you say? His best friends? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. You guys won't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Dremel? Dremel? I Dremel. wouldn't have thought. Are you serious? Yeah, Dremel. It's number one. This is just like real life hanging out. Yeah. You know, you no. love the energy. Dremel was in the studio when I was mixing my album. Uh-uh. It, that's it, that's I, I know he mixes and he masters. Yeah, he does. He, he does. Producer. I know he, he's, he's a great engineer. Again, he's a great so engineer. you know what? Engineer. He lives in the same area my engineer lives in. Oh, that's uh, Miller. Yeah. Okay. So whenever Miller is not picking up my phone and I need to do something quickly, and you know their gates, their, their estate gates, you have to enter with a code or someone has to call. Yeah. I just call Jemma. Jemma. Let me call Gidma. Enter this guy's house. You understand? You know, that mixing process is the hardest yeah. process yeah. Yeah. in releasing a project. So I, I'll call him. He just help me call the gate. And he, he has to tell me, is, is he at home? Yes, he's at home. And I go away. So he came through for me. Dremo is a gem and it's very real. Where did you meet Dremo? Where did I meet him? Yeah. I met him um, in the studio. Mm-mm. How many years ago? See, that look does not look like in the studio. <laughs> no, it's not in the studio. I met him in the studio. How many years ago? I think 2021. Oh, oh. That was a okay. No, he has been he has been my only friend. Aside from Dremel. What's he doing? I'm trying to He's trying to remember. <laughs> Scan. Okay. Omar oh, Ba is not your bestie. He's my friend. I don't believe on me and Omar we're family. <laughs> okay. so just, it's over. You're talking about friends. Um um apart from that, I think um uh, you know this guy, Millions? Millions from in London. the UK. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ross Millions? That's my guy. Okay. Not Ross Millions. Though. No, Millions, millions. Okay. yeah. Yeah, that's my guy. My friend. Fair enough. Like, you have Nobody could have predicted yeah. no, no. names you called. No. Actually. Just, it's just... It's that's about, what I told you before, like... Yeah. It's about real stuff. Yeah. It's not Energy. about and posting industry. each other on social media and yeah. be like, Oh, we're together. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're very shady. Do you know? <laughs> but you know you're shady. My brother right? from yeah, another my mother. <laughs> Luga is very shady. You are I very think, shady. I think I think the thing with Luga is he, he, he likes to watch the life of like contemporary people, but he doesn't like to eat. I think you're an old soul. Do you think so? Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. I think definitely. I think you're an old soul. soul. I think I'm my grandpa actually. Where's your grandpa from? My grandfather. Oh, my grandfather is from uh, he's from Lagos. Oh, you are, Le- you are Lagos, Lagos. My grandfather is from Lagos. Obalende. Oh. That's oh. from my mom's side, but my dad is cookie. Wow. What's your birth certificate? Huh? What state's your birth Kogi is on my birth certificate. Not Lagos. Not Lagos. All right. All right, guys. Welcome back from the break. If you missed anything from this, don't forget. Check it out. Monday, YouTube, and streaming platforms. And... Make sure you go stream Rude the World if you haven't. You're missing Rude out. Rude the World. They Melody have Rude. Don't worry. What's, your favorite, what's your favorite song on Rude? Thor. I know you didn't ask me, man, but the answer is Thor. Nah. My own, my own is Thor. Simi likes Thor too. I don't know. Like every song resonates. Yeah, shout yeah. out Simi. Simi have, you, have, you, have you met Simi before? Simi. Simi Adekunle God's wife. No, I've not. Okay, we're trying Wait, to remember. No, I've not. Ah, Abby? No. <laughs> she talked about you. Did you. But did you see her tweet about you? I saw her tweet. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I, lo- I love Simi. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> I love Simi so much. She's of actually a very cute person. Very sweet. You will love Simi. Um, what's your favorite song? I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I have any favorite one per se. How about a group of favorites? A good group of favorites. I love I Want Peace. 
I love our one piece because our one piece was really personal, you get mm. very mm. personal. Dear ex. Those are the ones I spin on my own. Ah, oh. I see. On my own. I, I spin that on my own. Blue too. I spin that on my own. Who does Dear X remind you of? Eh? Huh? Yeah. You helped me, Luga. Who does Dear X remind you of? Do you have an ex? <laughs> I'm not asking any questions. Answer question. my question. <laughs> what are you? Why is that? Answer my question. No, Luga. Why is that when Tolani and Excel ask you a question, you answer them? But if it's me, you're not making that You're the only girl here, man. You have to collect. 100%. Do you have an ex? What? Do you have an ex? Uh-huh. You have? Uh-huh. All right, good. So, I wanted to know. Good. Oh. So, who does their ex remind you of? Ex. Which of them? Ex. <laughs> Maybe she identifies as ex, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean... I mean... Right, that word right I, now. I mean, it's where we are. That's what... Identify I mean, ex. I mean... I mean, oh my yeah. god. I can't. Luga, just leave me alone. Well, my favorite song is alone. Addiction. There was a time I was screaming that song, you know? I love that song too. I love her song. I recorded that song 2020. Oh, wow. What? Yes. During the lockdown? Yes. During the lockdown? Yes. Wow. I had to re-record it because the way my voice was sounding that then, time yeah. was very... <laughs> and I had to redo it. Were you, mm. were you and anybody in the studio when, when you record with any of the features when you recorded the song? When you recorded the album? Yes, Salty Soul. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there's a video there, but there's I think there's a video of the, them in the studio yeah. somewhere online. I saw Salty that. Salty Soul. Yeah. Well, you, were you the one that reached that person? To them? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I got to Kenya and I was like, I've made, I, I'd finished the song already. Then I got to Kenya I was like, this song is going to sound good with Salty Soul on it. And I said, let's do it. I told the, I told the promoters, I said, can you get me in touch, put me in touch with Salty Soul? Are they in the country right now? They said, yes. I said, okay, let's go. What's the dynamic of decision making like between you, your team, the boss, which is Omoba, right? Or let me say you, your family, and then Omoba was like... Everyone, um, everyone... Everyone chips in. Everyone chips in. Everyone has their ideas. We just go for the best. So, well, so, it's, you know, so it's communal so it's not yes, like because some people are, yes, who might I, feel like oh you don't get to say you don't have to say no 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 most of the things that you see that 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 content wise everything even like the artwork I, I had a sketch of it by myself I drew it by myself then wait you're an artist? no like it was a nonsense drawing no okay. I know Sabi draw yeah. but I just said what an idea yeah this is what I want here this is what I want this is what I want here. can you just let me put it yes, so, yeah that's all so, um, the question I really wanted to ask was, mm-hmm. is it that, like, says for the length of the album, the songs that go on the album, Yeah. Um, how many songs did you pick from, from the album? How did you guys decide it? Who, did you guys put any songs to a vote? All of that stuff. Um, yes, definitely. Um, I feel like I lined up a lot of songs, but I knew the songs that can never not be on the album which are which, which are which ah. all right i knew tour must be of on the course. album i knew our one piece must be on the album how many did i mention i don't know i can mention a lot i can do mistake i even mention all the songs on the album <laughs> but like there were some songs i um i took out nine minutes maybe because it was not ready for now in the future, maybe because like Holy Ground, I recorded it 2020. I could have record, I've, I've released Addiction 2020. Hmm. Wasn't ready. It wasn't Nadia's ready. Was ready Do you understand what I'm saying? So Champion, I released Champion. Hmm. I recorded Champion 2019. This is 2020. I could have re- released it with my first project. Yeah. I released it 20 uh, 2021 uh, yeah. during the uh, the last second wave. Second wave. You understand what I'm saying? So. Most of the songs 